around 440. Uh, then you got Fawn at around six dollars, and uh, Lady Shabille uh, ran a number seven at seven dollars, and there's Brooke Buzz, uh, who was hovering around sixteen dollars, has uh, moved in to twelve dollars now in the market. Turek Tower number three. This one for Sam Logan and Trudy Thornton doing the riding. This horse ran fifth to the races last time out. And that was out of Avondale over 1,600 metres. So now they're pushing him out to more distance here this afternoon for Turak Tower. $13 and challenge uh, for the Bull team. A uh, very good winner, two starts ago, and then beaten at Awapuni last time out behind Master Pat. Over 2,100 metres in that rating, 75. Over start time now for the third. Red Cabs, Hamilton over 2,100 metres. We'll pass it back up to George Simon. Thank you, Brendan. As the field continued to load away for the Red Cabs, Hamilton 2,100, race number three on the program. And got no infield indicator here today. As the last few are about to load up, Fawn to come forward. Also, Love Light. And uh, Brooke Bars, Brooke Bars to be ridden by Jordan Nason. Love Light has gone in. And the colours of Sir Patrick and Justine Lady Hogan. Now Brooke Bars goes into the outside gate. We're set to go. Gates open, they're off. Away to a level dispatch, out wide, Love Light goes forward, Viyama looks to go forward as well with Nabiak as they work down towards us their first occasion. Turak Tower will settle fourth over on the inside of Prince Mambo, pushing up in between the two is Fawn. Then a length and a half away next is Lady Shabille up on the outside of Challenge. Back near the tail of the field of the two stable mates, Brook Bars, and back with it is on parole. So out of the straight they go as they head towards the 1600 metres mark and Prince Mambo is going to whip around and take over here. And Got away to lead by a length and a half from Nabiak. Love Light is third and Turak Tower fourth on the inside of Viama. Two links away next is Challenge being covered up by Fawn. Back uh, third last Lady Shabille and two links away on Parole and Brook Bars. That's the order as they swing into the back nearing the 1300 metres and spread out over a good 10 lengths here. It's Prince Mambo the pacemaker. Leads by one and a half from Nabiak. Two links away Turak Tower third on the inside of Love Light. A similar margin back then Challenge on the inside of Viama. Then came Fawn, who's all on its own as they work down towards a thousand metres. Back third last, Lady Shabille from On Parole and Brook Bars looks to go forward out three wide. They compress ranks a little now. 900 metres to go. Eight lengths first and last, and it's Prince Mambo the leader. Leads by one length from Nabiak. Two rack towers had a nice run third on the inside of Love Light. And then Brook Bars continues to improve round wide. Viama between runners from on the inside challenge, then Fawn. Two lengths away on parole and back with it is Lady Shabille. They compress ranks even further now. There's only six lengths first to last. 500 metres to go. It's Prince Mambo challenged by Nabiak. Brook Bars off and around them out deeper. Uh, Love Light is next then followed by Viyama. Two rack tower out a bit deeper. Fawn further back Lady Shabille then challenge and on parole. 300 metres to go. Brook Bars ranged up now to Love Light. Nabiak's battling away. Two rack tower closer in. Viyama in behind these need space. Out wide of Fawn. It's still Brook Bars. Fawn coming after it. Love Light is still there with Nabiak. Now Love Light lifting from Brook Bars and on the outside Fawn and Fawn going to the mall as they go to the post. Fawn will get up and win it. Love Light was second, third at the line. I think Brook Bars in a photo with Nabiak and Prince Mambo. And then behind those next to Rack Tower, followed by On Parole. Further away was Viyama and back with it was Challenge. Now the competitive finish, nine, Fawn, Alicia Collett for Roger James, the mare by Severbeel. She'll go back to back, has come with a nicely timed run down the center of the track. Brook Bars ranged up, it was a big run. Love Light kicked again at the 150. Nabiak wasn't that far away. As they go towards the post, but Fawn, number nine, it'll get there. Let's have a look at the go for the Miners. Fawn will win it. Uh, then photos between Love Light and Brook Bars. And next over was Nabiak ahead of Prince Mambo. Another competitive finish in the third on the card. All right, nine wins the race in Fawn. Uh, Roger James and Alicia Collett were able to finish off strongly. 
Brooke Bars has taken off at around about the 900 metre mark and has been a massive run because she's been able to continue on with that run and she's fought on hard. Looks like she's probably going to run into third position. I, I think she might be a horse pay to follow with what we heard from Brian McKeg there about what she might be able to do over the winter. Love Lights runs second and then Brooke Bars will be into that third position. Roger James uh, is a winning trainer. And we'll uh, track down Roger uh, in a moment to talk to him about this winning effort by Fawn here this afternoon.